Yeah, I think it's a. I mean, it's important to win every single week. You know, um, what happened last week, getting getting started too late, um, and all that. That's that's in the past now. The biggest thing was to focus on this week, and um, you know, Jacksonville's a good team. I know they're zero and five. Is you know, all that, but you know, I think in past experiences and and something about Jacksonville is there there wasn't as much fight. If the game got a little separate, those guys they fought the entire game. They played hard. Their defense plays extremely hard. Um, they have great leadership on that team. So um, they're going to win some games this year. They're going to—I I, know—they're going to have a, a much better year than the start has been. Um, they played hard all game, and uh, I'm just really happy for the team to get back on track and kind of keep moving forward. When the defense scores first, like they did today, what does that do to you guys on the sideline? As all, I mean. <laughs> uh, you know, Harold and I were talking one time. And Harold's like, "Hey, when you guys go out there first and you score, it just it, you just kind of it makes it feel like there's not so much pressure." And I think you know that that definitely happened. Uh, obviously, the next series they did a great job of going down and, and, and scoring. So, I mean, those guys fight, man. This is a this is a tough place to play. Um, they have a lot of young guys in their team that are very talented, very hungry, and um, you know, just happy to get this one, get back on track, playing cleaner games, get the O line to play better every single week. That's the goal, and. Um, you know, start hitting this stride. We have a big stretch coming up, so um, and a big game coming up Monday night. It seems like no matter what, every week Derek comes out and he mm-hmm. does what he did. Yep. I mean, what can you say about just the way that's just constant, you know, success that he brings on the field? Yeah, dude. Uh, this whole team loves Derek. I love Derek. He's um, he's a great guy. He wants to win. He wants to play well, but he could have 20, 20 yards, and as long as we win, that's all he cares about. So, um, not, I'm a huge fan of, of Derek Henry. Have been for a long time. And I'm just happy he's on our team, man. I, I really am. I love, uh, I love being around the guy. He's a good friend. So I'm, I'm really happy for him. The way he comes out and works every single week. There's a reason, there's a reason why uh, he was voted captain. I voted for him as captain. I think he's a, he's a stud, man. And, you know, we know what we're capable of. And the crazy thing is, is we ha- from a rushing standpoint, we, as an offensive line, we could do way better. We've played way better in the past. And so um, – we're leaving a lot of meat on the bone right now. And I think we know that as an offensive line. And it's just the continuation of every week getting a little bit better, moving a little bit further. For me, it's every week has been a, uh, a making progress. Every week has been a cleaner game, uh, being better. And so, um, you know, for me individually, it's just continue to go out and do that and help Derek get more yards and protect Tannehill. When you, Taylor say, now, fine. when you say meat on the bone, do you mean like from an efficiency standpoint? Efficiency standpoint, yeah, I think um, – We've played better in the past. There's, there's times we've played better um, last year, the year before, uh, us as a group. And so I think we need to continue. Got to keep working at it. Guys got to keep going, coming to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And, um, you know, it's good to have 130 yards, obviously. But uh, we got to start faster. We got to be, you know, there's a lot more that we're capable of as an offensive line to help Derek be more successful, to help Ryan be more successful. And I think um, we hold ourselves to an extremely high standard. And so we'll continue to to try and work on that. Taylor, five games in with Todd Downing, just how do you feel like this offense has grown um, just in, in the short, you know, early part? Todd's of the a stud. Todd is a stud. And I think, um, you know, I, 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 I love Todd. He, um, he, he we, we talk all the time, the way he talks to the players, the way he talks to the coaches. You know, there's a big thing. The, people want to compare him and Arthur all the time. I, I think, you know, the easiest comparison is the guys don't have egos. You know, they want to do whatever they possibly can to help the team. And I think um, when our, our Arthur first got in, I don't remember what our – was it 19 was our first year with Arthur? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we started, what, two and four? And um, it just – he just kept working. He never wavered. He never seemed like he was panicking. And uh, it really seems that way with Todd, too, that there's really never a panic. Um, he's always willing to listen. You know, at the end of the game, I came with us and said, hey, like, let me – like, give me an opportunity – to, to run left, like let, like give me that opportunity, and he called a couple, and a couple worked out. So, um, I I love Todd, and uh, I, I think you know he's doing a great job. I don't know how to be I don't know how to be an OC though, just to clarify. Why y'all are in the back? What's the deal? Just chilling. You're the kid in the back of the class right now, huh? You're the cool kid. Okay, C plus. The ability to stay on the field for those third downs, you know, and keep drives alive. How much do you think that did that wear down? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know how much they get weared down or their mindset in those situations. I think Ryan did a great job uh, getting the ball out of his hands. I think the offensive line, for the most part, did a great job passing off games. They put a lot of five guys on the field um, and one and one on one us and uh, played a lot of games, which we kind of had a feeling they were. Oh, it's hard something next. All right, it's hard. Um, 
put us in a lot of games and, um, you know, really tested us. And Ryan did a great job of moving in the pocket and getting the ball out of his hand and um, just a complete pro right there. Made us look really good. Guys, have a good one.